Hey guys, Manu here, and welcome to the channel. We have a Honda XR200 right here, and the owner of this bike dropped it off to be turned into something a bit more road-oriented. He wants tires that will last long on pavement, gain better handling on the streets, and be able to handle the bike a lot easier in heavy urban traffic. As you can see here, this bike is still rolling on the stock 18 and 21 inch wheels with knobby tires. Great for off-road, but horrible for daily commuting, especially on pavement. So in this video, we will be turning this humble dual sport into a very capable urban machine. Watch this if you have a bike like this, because we will be installing proven and tested parts to make the XR200 into a supermoto. Alright, welcome to the shop, and as you can see, the bike is on a wooden stool to get better access to the wheels. We will be leaving this bike here for a bit while we work on the wheels. Make sure that the bike is well supported because we don't want it to fall off the stand and damage it. For this build, we will be using the stock hubs of the XR200. We will be sending this to a wheel builder to be laced properly. Now if you are hiring the services of a professional wheel builder, please don't haggle their rates. This is one very meticulous job that requires a lot of patience and years of experience. If you want to save money, try doing this yourself, I tell you it's not an easy job. Now since the wheels are off, there is one thing that is required to make this swing arm accommodate the wider rim and tires. This metal tab right here needs to go, so we'll have to remove this to make the clearances. Also, this is a good time to clean up your axle and hubs. If you need to replace your wheel bearings, then this is a good time to do so. Later. So the rims that we are using for this build are by Takasago, proven and tested by yours truly. Rim size for the front is a 3.5 by 17 with 36 spokes. Rear is a 4.25 by 17 with 36 spokes. This is going to be a tight fit on the stock XR200 string arm, so this might require some adjustments before the final installation. Alright, wheel alignment is done. Time to make these spoke wheels go tubeless. Tire valves in, spoke nipples covered with rubber sealant, and to cover things up, wrap those in heavy duty duct tape let it sit and dry overnight to ensure a tight seal oh yeah if doing this mod is a hassle for you a set of tubes will do just fine by the way this is jerry of revolt cycles they are also in the middle of a rebuild so check them out on instagram and facebook links in the description below Okay, tires. For this build, we will be using a set of IRC Exato NR88 radials. These are awesome tires, which I made a review a while ago. Sizes are 110 by 70 17 up front for quicker turn ins and a 140 70 at the back because, well, that's the widest we could fit in this narrow swing arm. We could fit a 120 up front for a beefy look, but you will get heavier steering. Not exactly the best for city riding. A 150 wide tire can be made to fit at the back, but that would require modifications to the swing arm. Alrighty, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I made a review on the Honda XR200 a while ago, so go check it out if you want to know more. Lastly, if you are in the Philippines, especially in the island of Cebu, feel free to drop by our gas station to hang out with me and the Revolt Cycles crew. As always, see you next time.